hello everyone today we are going to discuss how we can upgrade your palo alto firewall so in this particular topology you can see i have two palo alto firewall palo alto firewall one and palo alto firewall two and i'm running both of these firewalls in ha so this is my active device and this one is my passive device and i am guys managing this but these two firewalls through my panorama okay and <coughs> right now both of my palo altos they are running palo pano palo alto or pan os version 10.2.3 on my panorama i am running 11.0.0 and i will basically try to upgrade this 10.2.3 bed 11.0.0 so now let me just show you let me just start this particular session how we have to do what are the things we have to check everything we will discuss okay so before starting guys as i as you have seen in my last session when we did the upgrade upgrade of your panorama or my you have to basically verify you have configured the update server properly dns details service routes license device registration device palo alto is registered with the support portal or not right dynamic update you need a proper app id updates all these things you have to validate so guys now if i'll go here into my panorama right now if i'll go into this panorama here into the device summary so these are the firewall one and two right now and they are is connected and in sync means we have to basically validate this thing if there is any if there is any commit related stuff is available right if there are if both the devices are in is it if both the device is not in sync in that case we have to just sync the configuration first this is the one thing which we have to check meanwhile let me just take the access of these devices with the help of cli let me log in admin admin you can run this command so devices connected it will give you all the connected device you can see they are connected properly right this is my firewall 2 and this is my firewall 1 you can also check the panorama status you can run this console panorama status it has a connected with primary panorama right now it is not connected with the secondary because secondary panorama is in a down state i have not turned on this one so this is the one thing which you you need to verify and guys if you want to download let's suppose if i'll go here into my palo alto 5 into software tab from the device tab then software and if you want to download this particular image here in that case you need an internet connection in your firewall means your firewall can able to ping google.com at least by using the management interface right if you are using some another interfaces for the internet purpose then you also need to modify the service route so your palo alto firewall can connect with the updates.palo2networks.com by using that interface because by default it will use management interface okay but here we are managing everything through the panorama so what i will do because guy if you want to do the upgrade what you have to do the the first thing which you need you need to take care is you have to define the upgrade path you have to download the necessary pan os version or your base image and your preferred images so let's suppose right now we are running 10.2.3 and we want to upgrade at 11.0.0 so guys this from 10.2.3 you can directly go at 11.0.0 but let's suppose this is the case where you are running 10.0.0 and you want to upgrade till 11.0.0 in that case what you have to do <coughs> from this 10.0.0 series you have to basically determine what is the most stable version or what is the preferred release on this 10.0.0 series so you have to download that particular image and you have to first 
first upgrade your firewall till here and after that you have to download the <laughs> after that you have to download the base version or base release for 10.1.0 series okay and you have to also download the preferred release on 10.1.0 series and you have to reboot your firewall with this version or means you have to upgrade till here from here you have to go to here and after that you have to basically download the base image of 10.2.0 because base image means they are the major release and after that you have to you have to basically download the preferred version in this series and you have to reboot your fire with this version and after that we will basically directly go on 11 from this version so right now we will go directly to 11. what is the upgrade path or procedure we have to follow what are the things we have to take care like your what you can do determine the upgrade path download the necessary panel is image so what i will do because you know i am i will <laughs> do the download of upgrade of these particular devices from them from the panorama so i'll just go into the software tab here and i have this pan os vm because you know i am running the vm devices if you are running 800 series box 3200 series box in that case you have to download these versions because i am running the vm devices so i will download this version i will download <coughs> this into my panorama and once this download will complete i will basically upload this particular image into both of my firewall together and after that, once this upload will complete, I'll just go for the reboot. So that's how I will basically proceed. We will see all of them, don't worry. Before you will basically do the upgrade of your PanOS, you have to make sure firewall is running the version of app and thread means you at least have a, some application thread version means content version that meets the minimum resource requirement of the pan os recommendation is always run the latest version and guys on my devices i have the latest version of my software you will get these details of my dynamic update you will get these details from here check now go here dynamic updates check now you have to look for this application third version i did the scheduling as well here now you can see for application threads this is the version which i am having this is the or almost latest we do have a these two let's go here we have these two as well right so if you want you can just download this one sync into the hapr and we can install so this is the first dependency which you need to clear before doing the upgrade procedure before you will start the upgrade and you have to make sure panorama is you will upgrade the panorama first before upgrading your palo alto devices okay because this panorama can only manage the palo alto firewalls who is running the same version either they are running the lower version These are the determine determine the need to upgrade. Like what is the need of upgrade? A new release that are not available in the current version, patches for the security vulnerabilities, bug fixes that are not available in current version, right? Current version is going to end of life soon. Consult with the Palo Alto network account team for the upgrade decision, right? So these are the things which we need to consider as well right before going for the any type of upgrade because blindly we will not do the upgrade first we will just try to understand what why we wants to do their upgrade what are the new features sub level what are the dependency we will be having right so all these things and guys before you will do the upgrade just do some pre upgrade checklist like review the release notes do not schedule the panorama and firewall upgrade at the same time first we have to upgrade the panorama and after that we will go for the firewall upgrade we will do the upgrade process in non-business hour because you know in upgrade your firewall will do go for the reboot okay and for the upgrade activity we have to allocate the sufficient team and we have to involve 
all the teams like your application team your network team so they can do the testing once we will did once we will complete the upgrade part okay so all these things we have to check and guys we will follow this procedure for upgrading the devices because you know we are running both the device in HA mode if you have the pair in active passive then you have to upgrade only to the next version of pen os then fail over and proceed to the upgrade for the second version of pen os right if you are running pen os 10 then you should go to 10.1.0 version let it be <coughs> any version of pen os then fail over and check the functionality means once we will upgrade we will check the functionality right so we will not upgrade like multiple base versions at the same time Let's see what is the status now. Download has been completed. Can refresh here. You can install, you can click here, sync to the sync this particular thing to the HA. So this download of your appliance threats will complete here as well. You can see <coughs> download of that particular panel software is complete around 53%. So we have to wait. Meanwhile, guys, this is the approach we have to follow. What we have to do before starting the upgrade part. This is my active device and this is my passive device. So what I will do, I will start my upgrade from the passive device. What I will do, I will re <coughs> sorry. What I will do, I will remove this device from the HA. Means I will suspend the HA on this device, and after that, I will just start the upgrade. Once upgrade will complete, what I will do, I will just make the HA functional in functional state, and after that, I'll just suspend the HA on this device. So this device will be in active state at that time, and I will start the upgrade of this device. So that's how I will do the upgrade part basically. You will get all the option like on prime firewall suspend the prime five to make the secondary firewall active. So this thing we are doing <coughs> just to validate your HA is working properly. Okay. Download install and reboot the latest preferred version. Download the base version, right? So you will get all the things here. What, what is the procedure you have to follow everything? Let's wait here. To complete that part. If I will basically <laughs> write down the steps here. Meanwhile, this process is going on. Upgrade steps. What do we have to do? First, we will start. Upgrade from second firewall suspend HA in passive device. Third thing. Download the pen OS image, which is 11, which is 11.0.0. Then install it. Then reboot it because when it will install, then reboot will happen. After that, 
make h a functional then suspend firewall 1 from h a then download the image and install it and after that reboot it so these are the this is how we have to go with the upgrade procedure guys so we will wait here until this particular thing will complete meanwhile you can see the ha part here you can see There's some mismatch, but this mismatch will be clear because you know just now we have installed that version, right? So that's why we can because you content installation is going on here as well. But you have to make sure there is a proper HA, no mismatch with regards to application or third version, right? So let's wait, it will basically fix in some time. This is active device, another one is in passive mode. And you have to make sure we don't have any anything to commit before starting the upgrade just remember content installation is going on so we have to wait download is completed here around 85 percent 86 percent here we have a 59 percent status so guys i'm just pausing the recording meanwhile for some time Now we can see content installation is completed on this device for application. Now you will see this mismatch has been cleared on both the devices. Image this pan OS version 11.0.0 on Panorama is downloaded around 96%. So let's wait for some more time. 97. So you can see the download has been completed and guys, you will get some fail to transfer a copy to HAPR because you know my Panorama 2 is in, it is not running state, so that's why, but it has downloaded successfully and you will see here the downloaded one. Now what you have to do? Now guys, because you know, if we want to do the upgrade, means we need to upload that image. What we have to do, we have to upload that image into both of these devices. How we will do that? We have to go here. We have to click on install. And what I will do, I will select both of my devices and I do not select the reboot option for now because I will not reboot right now. What I want, I just wanted to upload that image into these devices. That's it. Okay. I'll go here, click on OK. Now what it will do, it will try to upload that image into the software manager. If I'll go here, if I run this command debug, software manager, log. And if you will go at the end, So right now we don't have much thing here. Version 10.2.3. We have loaded with this version. So jobs all. You will see right now software install job is triggered. This is the job ID. So jobs ID. Detail loading into the software manager means now Panorama is trying to <coughs> upload that image. 50% has been completed here. Here also you can <coughs> able to see into the task manager. And if you will go into the software right now, you will see for 11. 
this page here just loading up from here also you can able to track the status So it tells process in 50% like up in image upload installation initiated. You can go ahead then now you can see image upload is going on here. You can check the status from here as well. So what we have to we have to just wait guys apart from that I'll go here. enable because you know we are running everything in HA right so I will initiate a ping from here and we will check how many packet has been dropped from this device also I can just do ping to 192 168 1.1 minus T <coughs> right now you can see ping is going on image upload is going on here so we have to wait here actually so guys after 20 minute waiting you can see image has been successfully uploaded into my both of my firewall firewall one and two this is the one thing which you need to do now if you go here into your firewall one if you will refresh you can see 11 image has been uploaded here and same thing you can also check to this device we have the 11 image here as well right now what you have to do because you know if i'll go into my secondary firewall right now this is my passive device right so what i will do i'll just suspend this device from the HA. So before that, guys, what I can do, you can see here I'm running the continuous ping from my Windows machine. Continuous ping is going on. I will also initiate the continuous ping from this device. Ping to 10.10.1. .10 with the repeat count of now you can see continuous ping I have initiated from this device as well now what I'll do I'll go here I'll go into the high availability the secondary device operational command and I'll just suspend this device from the HA go here into dashboard you can see this device has been suspended ping is still going on we don't have any drop now you can go here into the software tab now you can just do the install when you will do the install now your firewall 2 which we have suspended from HA it is this device will go through with the reboot and once it will reboot you will see the version here 11.0.0 and if you want to basically capture this process you can run this command debug software manager log you can able to see the details here you can go at the end by pressing shift z package set uninstall successful preparing the installation and other things right so you will get everything So jobs all there is a one software install job with this job ID. You can basically fetch the detail with this job ID now. It is at 15%. So we have to wait. Guys, ping will not impact. You will see 
continuous ping is going on. Let me just decrease the size a little bit. Let me just increase this. You can track the job from here. So guys, we have to wait. Right now, all the traffic is forwarded by my firewall one. You can check the session all. You will get the details. There's a lots of ping session, even though you can also run this command tail follow or you can run this console counter global filter delta yes you will get how what are the counters which are increasing and other things okay so everything is good right now traffic is going through update is also going on So we don't have anything to do. We just need to wait here. So let's wait, wait for this particular process to complete. So now you can see, we don't have any single ping draw here. We don't have any draw here. Now it is asking to just click on reboot. So I will just click on here reboot. Now this my firewall two will go for the reboot here. And you will see, there's no single packet drop and generally you will not see any type of drops basically. Okay. Because when we will, we will ship when this device came online and after that, when we will do the switch over with regards to the HA, that time maybe there is, there is a one packet of drop. Okay. So let's wait right now. You can see other devices and you, it is not able to detect. Now this device will take time. So guys, we have to wait. Right now you can see ping is still going on. The single packet drop by, because you know everything I'm running on VMware, so that's why, okay. But in production, you will not see that as well. It's still rebooting this device. So you can see ping is still going on from both the devices, okay. And all the traffic is handled by my primary firewall as of now secondary firewall is rebooting so we have to wait guys we don't have any anything to do okay so i'm just pausing the recording guys to just save the time reboot is this guys is still going on so let me mean by logging into my exi server and we can just track the process from here as well This is my firewall too. Let me just take the console. Now you can see reboot is completed. But if this time I will try to log in, login will not work. Because you know, it needs to start all the demons in a backend and other things, right? So that's why it is not, nothing is working right now. Running configuration synchronized, there are pan OS was a mismatch, but you can see it's still HA interface is in down state. So let's wait here. So we don't have anything. We have to just wait here actually. Let me reinitiate the ping again. You can see ping is still going on here and we don't have any kind of draw here. You can check. We don't have any single drop. Admin, admin at one, two, three. Yeah, I got the access from here. 
Now you can see I got the GUI as well. Let me just log in from GUI. CLI is working. Just wait here. And sometimes you will get the pen with version mismatch. Right now you can see this device is in. You can see this device have around version 11 now, right? So we have successfully upgraded this particular device. Let me just. Now you can see running config is not synchronized. There is a mismatch with regards to pan OS and everything is fine, right? And this device is in passive state. So we have guys successfully upgraded our passive device. Now what we have to do now we have to upgrade your active device. So how we have to start the upgrade for active device. We have to go here and right now you can see. Ping is going on here also ping is going on. What I will do, I'll go here into firewall one into this high availability tab into operational command and you can see here this device is in passive state now. So what I will do, I will just suspend this device. Local is passive. Other is active now. I will go here. I'll just suspend this device. As soon as I will suspend, you will see this device become active. You can see there is a there is a two three packet drop here. Here also, but after that you can see it has just continued, right? It has just continued. It has here also it has just continued. So you will get a like slight drop, but guys in production environment you will not get these type of drops as well because you know in production environment things used to happen in very fast manner. This is. Uh, this is my VM environment, right? So VM is always slow. So you will see some drop, but this is a procedure how we can upgrade your Palo Alto firewall without dime time, which we are running in active passive mode. Just remember now what I will do. I'll go here for 11 version, which is at the end. I'll click on install. Click on OK. Now you will see install has been started on my primary firewall. So what I have to do, I have to wait here for this particular process to complete. Meanwhile, you can see ping is going on. And right now all the traffic is handled by, by my firewall 2. Means firewall 2 is handling all the traffic. Even though if I'll take the CLI access of my firewall, <coughs> we can able to see that these particular details. Admin. So session all you can see we have the sessions here. Debug software manager. Show status. You can check the status of your software manager demon. This is the current running version and that version I'm running on sysroot zero partition. We do have a sysroot one partition where we are. They are having 10.2.3 version, right? And if I will just try to check the log file here, you can go here. Press your shift G, so it will take you at the end, and you can see package uninstalled successfully and package is set installed successfully. Means now it has just successfully installed the pan OS 11. You can see version 11 here. So you will get all the details. They verified the integrity and everything.
and here also you will get the partition for this pan os version so like 10.0.0 prepare sys root g and they have prepared the this particular root directory or sys root directory for 11.0.0 version installing package into this particular directory and who is installing software manager process inside your palo alto or your software manager daemon you can able to get all the details here as well now you can see process going on so we have to wait here you can see commit is ping is also going on now guys what i can do let me just pause the recording for some time now you can see process has been completed and now it is asking to go for the reboot but before doing going for the reboot let me go here let me just run this command debug software log control shift z go end here and you will get the details nothing to install into this one this is the root sys root directory right and you will get here 11.0.0 platform it is prepared right so you will get all the all the when whenever you will start this particular process of your inst installation of or upgrade process or installation of new version you will get all these log files inside this particular daemon inside your palo alto you can see they have they have create they have basically clean up the sys root zero sys root zero partition right where they are going to install this 11.0.0 panos version right you can see everything here right now before clicking into this word this reboot option i'll go here and i'll just take the cli access of this device right now i can go here just click on yes now reboot will start and you can able to track everything here now you can see they have sent the switching to run level six run level six me this is the linux run level me this means we are going to reboot this particular device it is like in at six and it is just stopping your pen application software services and it will go through with all of them you will you can able to see the details here guys and in production environment if you are basically upgrading any hardware box what do you can do if you want to see these type of logs, what you can do, you can take the console access of your device. In console cable, you can able to see everything. Now you can see it has <coughs> stopped all the services. Now it has just started the reboot process. So what it will do is first it will load the CentOS, which is your Linux kernel of your Palo Alto. Once CentOS or kernel is rebooted, and after that, what it will start the pen application. So this is the procedure for that. You can wait here and you can see. It will basically do the file system check, all these kind of things it will do here, all these checks it will do here. Now you can see we will get the login screen. So what we will try to log in. But guys, just now I got this screen. So generally we have to wait for around three, four minutes. And after that, that only your login credential will work. Meanwhile, you can just click on refresh here. So it when everything will start, you will be able to access from here as well. now finally you can see we got the access so i will just log in here ha is also initializing this is your local device and another one is in passive mode which is this one and guys we have successfully upgraded our firewall one as well
which is your active device active firewall right but right now it is in passive state so i will change that state that's not an issue i'll do that so system info match software it is having version 11 and even though you can also check this command debug software manager status you can see it is running 11.0.0 at sysroot 0 partition right and if you will run this command log shift g package has been successfully installed right if you will face any issues any challenge you will get the error into this particular demon so that's how guys we have to do the upgrade part now you can see if i'll go here go here you can see ha is also up and running ping is going on here also ping is going on now what i will do i'll go here so i want to make this device as a primary so i will go here i will run this command i'll go into my secondary device i'll just code into this stay into high ability and i'll just suspend it i'll just make functional now you can see there's no single packet drop there's a one packet drop then and sometimes this will also converse the two packet has been dropped but in production you will not face these kind of drops okay you can see now you fire one in active state and another one in passive state so guys this is the that's how we have to do the upgrade of your palo alto firewall devices with the help of pandorama thank you everyone guys thank you everyone for joining me today take care guys bye